All right, we are ready for writing some Terraform code. Let's go back to our terminal. Let's launch the Pmax. Let's go to CI CD project and IAC folder. Let's create a new folder called Terraform. Inside this folder, we are going to create a new file called providers.tf. Let's create that Terraform folder. Okay. Uh, Terraform usually needs a provider to work. In this case, we are going to use a Proxmox provider. Since the Terraform provider is not officially supported by Terraform, we are going to use a community provider, which is Telmate. Telmate Proxmox. I will show you the repo first. <coughs> Here is the repo. Uh, the um, development is really active, um, but this provider is not so stable at the moment. That's why I'm gonna use an older version, not not the latest one, because it doesn't work with my setup. So that being said, let's go and create a provider. All right, let's start by uh, creating the Terraform block. Terraform required providers and in this block we are going to create a new proxmox provider and give it a source it's a uh, telmate slash proxmox and the version is going to be 3.0.1 rc3 yes now the next step is to give some provider specific options. Let's go ahead and type provider, provider proxmox. Just do that. Just give the um, PM TLS insecure true because we are working inside a local environment. Proxmox API URL is um, go ahead and do https slash slash 19.9 give the port oh i forgot to launch the screen key again yes do api2 and json now let's go ahead and create an API token ID and Proxmox API token secret. Let's go ahead and create these credentials. Go to data center, go to permissions and API tokens. Let's go ahead and add. Just select the user root and uh, just uh, arbitrary value. Let's, let's, let's call it Terraform. And um, let's uncheck the privilege separation. Um, yeah, and click add. Let's copy these values. It's a token ID. Just give it ID and copy that value as well. Go and just paste it here. Just save the file. Now let's launch our file manager. It's an Emacs file manager. Now let's uh, create a new file called. Just I'm gonna press create file 
and call that file as wars.tf and open this file. Yes. In the wars.tf file, we are going to create some variables like uh, the virtual machine name, the memory values we are going to assign to, to VMs and uh, IP addresses, etc. Let's go ahead and create a variable called VMs. Oops, not with the square bracket. Let's go and give it a type map object just reformat yes and give it a name name uh, attribute is going to be a string value IP address is going to be string as well how many cores? Course is going to be a number value. Sockets also number memory number in megabytes. And finally disk space is a number as well. And it's going to be in gigabytes. reformats. Oh, we have a syntax error here. Oh, okay. We, we have to add one extra curly here. Now let's uh, create all the VMs one by one by uh, using these values create a default list of variables here. Let's create first variable, first VM, Jenkins master equals to the name is going to be um, Jenkins master IP address is going to be Two one six eight one two two ten. Cores is going to be two is enough. Sockets is one. Memory two gigs is enough, I think. And disk space. Let's give it a sixteen gigs. Yes. Now let's copy this whole value and paste it here and let's call the next VM agent let's change this agent let's change the um, IP address to 11 let's uh, copy that block again and paste down below change that to sonar cube Yes, and the 12. SonarCube is a little bit resource heavy program, so we are going to give that 4 gigs of RAM. Copy that again. And let's create another VM called Nexus. And change the value to 13. Change this to 2 gigs. Copy again. This is, this is our final uh, VM. It's called monitoring, which is going to run um, Prometheus and Grafana. Monitoring. Oh, let's make it monitor, not monitoring, make it 14. Since we are 
We're going to run two programs here. Let's give it two cores and more RAM, like eight gigs. Okay. Let's go ahead and create uh, the main TF. Create file main.tf. Open this file and let's write the main TF. Let's create a resource first. Let's call that resource as a Proxmox VM Q Q E M U Mix OS. The target node is going to be our uh, cluster's name, which is which is which is called PVE. Let's go ahead and create PVE. Uh, clone, which template to clone? Of course, NixOS Cloud init. NixOS Cloud init. OS type is going to be a Cloud init type. Minimize true. SCSI hardware is going to be import IO SCSI. SCSI PCI boot disk is going to be uh, disk SCSI 0 okay let's use our variables now for each it's going to be variable and VMs now name is going to be each value that name just copy that it's going to be cores and sockets and memory okay okay let's go ahead and set up our disks going to be SCSI type from SCSI 0 disk and disk attribute storage is going to be equal to our local LVM because we created this um, image NixOS cloud image inside the local LVM inside this uh, disk Let's go back and give it a size, and size is going to be each value, disk, disk space. And since we need to mount the cloud image, we are going to create a CD-ROM image. It's going to be like this, IDE to cloud init. We're going to call it cloud init. And storage is local LVM. Yes. And finally, let's uh, set up the IP addresses. IP config 0 is going to be IP equals to each value. IP address, the CIDR number, and the gateway is going to be 192. Sorry, 192. Let's close that. 168, and this cloud init user is going to be my uh, username. And finally, let's set the SSH keys to file and my SSH key ID RSA pop as public. All right, it seems like we are ready to run this code. Let's go and create a new window. Let's rename it. Let's call it uh, general. 
let's go to CICD project directory and IAC. We have the Terraform folder. Go inside this folder. So <clears throat> do the um, uh, Terraform in it first. Uh, looks like we have some problem in the providers. Oh, we have to add an equal sign here. Let's go and try again. Okay, Terraform is downloading the Telmate Proxmox version and installing it. That's great. Let's uh, Terraform, validate, so the configuration is valid, let's go ahead and just run this um, Terraform code, Terraform apply, auto approve my firewall is asking for permission. Let's watch that output inside our uh, web browser. As you can see, the Jenkins master and monitor SonarCube Nexus VMs are being created. Okay, you may encounter an error like this where I have a solution. Uh, it's like this. Let me show you. Until Terraform apply auto approve. And let's limit the um, operations to one. So the Terraform is going to create VMs one by one until this uh, command succeeds. Do the following, just echo sleep by 10 seconds and done. Oh, we forgot to destroy everything first, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. Let's see. So the Nexus is, as you can see, Nexus is uh, active now. Okay, it's going. Well, okay, all the VMs are created, as you can see. Let's check the summary. We have, okay, Jenkins Master has um, 16 gigs of disk, 2 gigs of RAM, 2 CPU cores, while SonarCube is a little bit more heavy, has 4 gigs of RAM. And uh, monitor has four CPUs and eight gigs of RAM. So our infrastructure is ready. We are now ready to install all the services using Nix.